If you're a photographer and you're trying to put a soft box together uh, and it comes with two soft boxes and white stands, which is great, except there are, there are no instructions for how to put together the soft box. So this is what it comes in and today I'm just going to put it together because there are no instructions. This is what it will look like. But how do we get there? Okay, so in the package, you get the soft box part of it. You got the ring. You got four sticks, <laughs> and then you have the uh, soft box cover. So there are these tabs that you stick the stick through. So start there. And then right here, um, it's a little bit stiff, but it'll fit the, the end of the tab. So you might just need to like jiggle it in there like that. Um, so you do that for all four sides, all four corners. Work your way around. So it looks like this so far, not doing much. And yes, I could probably have figured this out on my own, but I ended up looking up a YouTube video because it wasn't making sense at first. Okay, that one. So this, this is what you're looking at. It gives the structure to the soft box. And now you're gonna take your ring and you're gonna insert the ends into the holes. So they are numbered one, two, and three. Um, you want to insert them on either the ones. So you want them to all be either the same number. So all ones or all twos um, so that it fits properly. So uh, good luck. It's a little bit tricky. You want to make sure that this tab is facing out. Not in, but out. Okay. That was actually easier than the first one I put together. So now you have this like this and there are Velcro tabs in the back that you can just put together like this. And then in this packet is what makes it the soft box. You've got the inner lining, which you'll attach this. See there's little uh, elastic. You want to make sure that the rectangle is going in the same orientation as the softbox. So long way. So now it looks like this. And then you take the last piece of the softbox and stick it to the velcro of the frame. Just like this. And there you have it. Got a softbox all together. And I will say, after putting this together, I am not taking it apart. So these are, you could take them down, you could take them apart, but it's gonna be a big pain in the butt. Um, so just plan to travel with large soft boxes in your kit. So also in the kit and included are two light stands. So kind of just taking out of the box today, make sure have everything ready for my photo shoot that's on Thursday and not let Thursday be the first time I use my new equipment. So um, yeah, we're just gonna test it out. Okay, so I have, this is the Godox SL153, focus, there we go. And so I'm just gonna set these up. this like this tighten that there and bring this down okay so take off this cover there's a little tab up here you turn it and you take it off like that and then you can take your soft box line up the tabs 
and slide it into place. All right, cool, cool. A little bit crooked. Turn it on. Ta da! So the cool thing about this light is that now I have much better lighting. I was just using ambient, whatever was available daylight wise, but now we have more lighting. I'm gonna put the other one together, show you what it looks like with two lights. Okay, so now I have both Godox SL153s set up within their soft boxes, casting nice light, looking nice and even. And so I just wanted to share that with you in case that helps um because there are no instructions so my name is katie i am a brand photographer based in dallas texas i also help photographers with how to start a photography business so that you can turn your passion into profits uh, until next time